here we are, I managed to find the site of the first one. Probably a bit of controversy about this until some people actually uh, dug this site, officially of course, and found some wreckage that proved it was. So this was a Noidian UC648 Norseman of the 10th Depot Repair Squadron, US Air Force. So this crashed on Shining Tour on the 29th of September 1944 and luckily the pilot survived. So he was basically on a liaison flight from Burton near Warrington to RAF Winthorpe near Newark. Okay, and he spent about, you know, one and a half hours at Newark, um, set off the return leg to Burton Wood and they counted like a lot of them did, low cloud over the hills and for, for about five minutes. However, that did worsen. Um, once airborne, he encountered a strong headwind, and so it took him a lot longer to get over here. So he assumed he was beyond the hills, when in fact he wasn't, and he started to descend. While still in the on the cloud, he spotted the ground beneath him and then struck the rising ground on this spot here. You can see, we'll have a look in a minute, there's a few remains. Uh, and uh, the aircraft turned over and caught fire, but he was able to escape and made his way off the hill down to Stoke Farm, apparently <laughs> carrying a piece of the wreckage underneath his arm. And then when they asked what that was for, he said it was to defend himself from coyotes. What a story, but he survived that. But anyway, let's have a look at the wreckage. We'll walk around the edge, but you can see metal fragments here. Um, for a while they thought this was the Defiant wreck, which is not nowhere near here. But you can see the molten wreckage here. This scar, I'll get a picture of it when we get to the top. But yeah, look, yeah, all the molten metal where it caught fire. I'll put a picture of what the aircraft looked like, but you can see the scar here. If I uh, just come up a bit. Yeah, can you see that? So this is a scar they thought it was a defiant wreck, but like I say, I'll find out some pictures, but they, uh, they found a few bits and managed to prove they were off this particular type of aircraft. I'll put some info up about it, but in this particular case, um, yeah, he survived, which is good. Some of the others weren't so fortunate, but you can imagine he was flying over this way. The headwind caused him to think he was further ahead than he was and that he'd gone past the hills and then in, in fact uh, straight into the side of the hill here. A very lucky man I suspect as it caught fire. Anyway that's the first one down. I'd got to that point down there and just thought where is it but uh, I knew there was a scar and I could see a dip here and uh, we got to it in the end there, the 10-figure reference. There's another one further up this hill towards the top of Shining Tour now. Let me just check what that one is. Just give me two seconds. And the next one is a North American Harvard, so again, another American Air Force. So we're going to ping up to that and then we'll head off over towards the trig and back on the path. Um, here, are grouse in the background. I am being very careful because they're all ground nesting birds at this time of year, so I'm really taking care. The one thing that it's about this time of year, it is easy to get through. The heather's not quite full on or anything. That can be quite draining. So yeah, we're going to head up now, find the wreck of the Harvard. The Nordian Norseman, also known as a C-64 Norseman, is a Canadian single-engine bush plane designed to operate from unimproved surfaces. Distinctive stubby landing gear protrusions from the lower fuselage make it easily recognisable. Introduced in 1935, the Norseman remained in production for almost 25 years, with over 900 produced, and a number of examples remain in commercial and private use to this day. They are known to have been registered or operated in 68 countries, and have been based and flown in the Arctic and Antarctic regions. On the 29th of September 1944, 2nd Lieutenant Fredrickson was tasked with a liaison flight from Burton Wood near Warrington to RAF Winthorpe near Newark-on-Trent in Nottinghamshire and back. He had left Burtonwood at roughly 13.45 and took some 45 minutes to cover the 80 miles to Newark. Having spent one and a half hours at Newark, 2nd Lieutenant Fredrickson set off for the return leg back to Burton Wood. Outbound, he had encountered low cloud over the hills for about five minutes. However, conditions had worsened by the time he returned. Once airborne, he encountered a strong headwind and, as such, expected the flight to take longer than outbound. After flying for an hour, he assumed he was more than likely beyond the hills and descended. While still in cloud, Fredrickson popped, spotted ground just beneath him and shortly after struck rising ground. The aircraft turned over and caught fire, though Arnold Fredrickson was able to escape the aircraft before the fire had taken hold. 
He made his way off the hill to Stake Farm, where, according to local legend, he arrived clutching, clutching a piece of the aircraft. When asked what it was for, he replied, it's to fend off the coyotes. <laughs>